Hi everybody. Some coding exercises are so popular and so legendary that they're the kind of things you talk about at water coolers, at sports bars, and topics that you bring up at family dinners. One such coding exercise is the one known as FizzBuzz. So in this video, we're going to walk through the coding exercise and see how we can go ahead and solve this really fun and popular problem. So let's take a moment to look at what FizzBuzz actually does. So I'm on the page on crypt.com where we can talk about the FizzBuzz exercise itself. So the rules of FizzBuzz are as follows. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see it more clearly. The idea is that we want to print each number from 1 to 100. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. The, the challenge and the interesting part is this. For any number that is a multiple of 3, we print the word fizz instead of the number. And for any number that's a multiple of 5, we print the word buzz instead. And for any number that is multiple of both 3 and 5, we print the word fizzbuzz. So if we walk through what an example of this might look like, the first number is 1, we print 1. Second number is 2, 2 is not a multiple of 3 or a multiple of 5, so we just print 2. The third number is going to be, you know, we know that 3 is a multiple of 3, and so we print the word fizz, it's not a multiple of 5, and it's not a multiple of 3 and 5, so it's just fizz. And then 4, then 5, 5 in this case is a multiple of 5, so we print buzz. And so we keep going down this path, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and so on. And then each time, for each number, we ask ourselves, is it a multiple of 3, is it a multiple of 5, or is it a multiple of 3 and 5? For example, we know 15 is a multiple of 3 and 5, and so we print the full word fizz buzz. And we keep repeating this pattern all the way until we hit 100 numbers. And so what we're going to do next is to get the code needed to pull all of this off. So here I am in my trusty Visual Studio code. I have the same page open on the right-hand side in the browser. It's Chrome. And I have the DevTools displayed. The goal is to just display some of these values into our console itself. And so the way I'm going to start off is that I just want to first make sure that we have the ability to print numbers 1 through 100. And that seems like a great opportunity to bring up a for loop. So for let i equals 0, i equals less than 100, and i plus plus. Actually, we said starting from 1 to 100. So less than or equal to 100. So let me do console.log and just print the word i. This is just a, a quick sandy check I like to do whenever I'm coding something, just to make sure that I get an easy win code is working. So yes, I'm able to print the values from 1 all the way to 100 looks pretty good so far. Okay, so now here's where the we start thinking about how do we make this work where a multiple of three is now going to be printing the word fizz, a multiple of five is going to be printing the word buzz, and then a multiple of three and five will be printing the values fizz buzz. So let me start with something very simple. And so let's say that if, uh, let me actually say yeah. So the way we can detect something's a multiple of three or five or any number is by using the the percentage key, the modulus operator, that tells us what the remainder is of a division. So if a remainder is, uh, let's say I'm dividing a number and dividing it by 3, for example, if there's a remainder to it, that means it's not truly divisible. Like 7 divided by 3 would be 2 with a remainder of 1. So it's not true. But 6 works out really well. Remainder is 0. So I want to say if i mod 3 equals 0, that's a good chance that it is a multiple of 3. And so I'm just going to put console.log, console.log fizz. Okay, and then let's have an else state, else statement here. Else console.log equals i. So this is a good starting point in terms of the beginnings of our application. So now if we refresh this page, you can now see 1, 2, 3 is fizz, 4, 5, 6 is fizz, 9, 12, 15. All of these are multiples of 3. And we can see fizz comes up quite a bit here, which is which is good to see. That means that we're on the on the right track. And so now the next step is that I want to check if something's a multiple of five and print out the word buzz. So I'm gonna let me go ahead and do a nested else statement here. So else if I ampersand five equals zero and let me close this off. Else, okay. Console dot log buzz. All right. So now, if I refresh this page, you can now see one, two, three is fizz. Four, five, 
five is buzz because it's a multiple of five. And then fizz again is a multiple of three, so we're good. And so now the, the last thing that really remains is what if it's a value that's 15? So here, for example, 15 is showing up as fizz because the first value of our code gets hit. We really wanted to show fizz buzz. And so for this one, I'm going to do if I ampersand three, let me actually put this in double parentheses and I ampersand five equals zero, then this means that we can print out console.log fizz and buzz and then do else and then pull this if statement into here. Okay, three and equals zero, print print buzz. There may be a glitch here, but we'll find out what shows up when I print this out. So refresh this page. You can see one, two, three, four, five is fizz buzz and six is fizz. Okay, so what's going on here is that it is treating each of these as its own unique version. So the last item is basically checking it is if i is percentage of five module five equals zero, which is why it's not working. If I refresh this page, you can now see one, two, three, four, five. And now fizzbuzz is printing twice for both five and six. What's going on here? Why is this logic not working? Well, if something's a number of three and number of five, I can actually just say 15, right? Now, I love coding live because you really get to see me struggle and squirm just like anybody else. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15 is fizzbuzz, correct. And then 16, 17, and then the next one would be 30. Then it's 45. All right, so we now have numbers going all the way up to this, and we can say the last fizz bus would be 90, because six times 15 is 90. So this is one way of thinking about it, where something that's a multiple of three and five would really be something that is a multiple of 15 in this case. And so we can do this and it works fine. Now, what I'm showing you here is just one solution. There are definitely more optimal solutions here. One approach you can also take is that we kind of we're repeating some of these Boolean values, you know, over and over again. For readability, it may not be a bad idea to see if we can actually make this work differently. Now, actually, I just thought of it right now. Why is why did it not work when it's doing I you know the the modulo operator for three and five? It, it's because I it, I'm doing a compound Boolean operation, and I'm I often get languages mixed up. In this case, in JavaScript, the way to do that is by if I percentage three equals zero, and I percentage five equals to zero, then console like fizzbuzz. So that's the part I was missing earlier. I was trying to do both of them, which works in some languages, but just not in JavaScript. And so now you get the, a similar output. I have a modulo of three and five, zero, so 15, 30, they're all being printed appropriately. So yeah, so you got to kind of see me sweat a bit and struggle to figure out how this works, but that gives you an idea of two approaches that you can take and by again, by no means are these the only solutions. There are many more ways you can do this in a more clever way and you may even find ways of cutting down a whole lot of characters as part of making this work. Now you're done with the example, there's just one more thing I'd like you to do. One of the best ways to become a better developer is to be part of a great community like Kripa Forums where everyone is interested in learning and also helping each other out. So once you've completed this exercise, share your results to with others to celebrate all the great progress you made, to ask questions if you're stuck, do you want a code review, or do you just want to get better feedback on how you can do better next time? So when you share your code or link to your example, you'll earn a badge to commemorate that you have completed this exercise. As you complete more exercises, you'll be earning more and more badges. By the end of it, you'll be a highly decorated developer. You'll be the envy of your peers. You'll be the king of the castle and so on. And, and with that, I will see you all next time.